Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have made this paper squishy macaron inspired squishy going on. It was supposed to be a lighter pink and I've got some strawberries on here. I'm not sure if they're going to pick up on camera very well, but hopefully they will. This was a really, really simple um, squishy to make, but I really wanted to make a macaron inspired paper squishy today as part of my sweet treats week. And this is day number three of that, which basically this week I'm making all of my DIYs based on cute kind of sweet treats inspired food DIYs I don't know I just thought that it would be a good idea for a themed week so yeah this is the macaron I've wanted to make a macaron paper squishy for a long while but I wasn't sure how I would end up putting it together but this is what I've come up with it squishes really well I've just been squishing it um but yeah it was really easy to make so if you do end up making it then um be sure to tag my Instagram I'll leave all my links down in the description down below and I'll be squishing it at the end so you can see that after the tutorial so I hope these products keep you nice and busy throughout isolation that you're staying at home staying safe staying healthy as much as possible and i'm just going to get straight on into the tutorial so take it some regular a4 printer paper i just took a tea light holder and drew it around that to make this circle i'm using this tea light holder for everything because the circle shape is just like the perfect size for so many diys so yeah i just drew around that to make a circle shape and then i kind of drew some strawberries on using a red pen so I actually picked up the wrong colored pink pen here I wanted to use a slightly lighter one so I could see the strawberries a little bit more but I then realized I'd picked up the wrong one and I'd done half of it so I figured I would just carry on so I colored the whole of the circle in this pink shade cut it out and then I flipped it over onto my piece of paper again and I drew around that to make an identical shape I just colored that on in the same pink color just leaving it plain so I mean like I said I just use regular printer paper for this just A4 a lot of people always ask me what paper I use and it's just regular A4 paper to make the stuffing for this squishy I took a zip seal bag some toy stuffing and some memory foam scraps that I had left over from making a few memory foam squishies this week and what I did was I put it all inside like zipped it up and then squeezed out some air but not all of it and then I taped it down just to make it kind of the same size and round shape as the like circles I previously made so I used them as a reference just to like see where I needed to put tape on to pull the shape in together and once I was happy with the sizing of it I then taped both of the pieces of paper to either side so I made sure to stick one down to begin with and fully cover it in tape and then I did the same on the other side as well sticking that one to the bottom using the same a4 paper again i went back in and i cut around about an inch strip down in size just the same length as the whole a4 piece of paper and i have just used the same pink color that i used on the macaron and i kind of did this design so it looked like there was filling inside that was the kind of idea of it i did the pink on either side so that when I taped it it would match in with the piece on the top and the piece on the bottom and then the white would be the filling so I just taped that down in place and then started putting around about two inch pieces of tape around that just to fully encase it in and make sure that it was all sealed in around the squishy now I mean you didn't have to do yours pink or anything like that I think a blue one or a green one or just any other kind of color would look cute I think I might make another blue one myself just because I really really like it so you can stop here if you want to but I went the extra kind of step and I started to use acrylic paint the reason I did this was because I wanted those strawberries to stand out against the pink that I'd put on there in real life you can tell the difference between the red and the pink but on camera they're showing up quite similar colors so I just wanted to make it stand out a little bit more I also went back in with some green and painted on those details again and then painted on a cute kawaii face underneath the strawberries like I do on all of my squishies. So I stuck with my usual face, just the black um, eyes and mouth, the light pink for the blush either side of the eyes and then painting in the tongue as well with the same colour. Taking some white acrylic paint, I painted on the highlight of the eyes using that same barbecue skewer. And then I put tiny little dots onto the strawberries to act as their seeds. I then decided to shape the paper squishy just in my hands. So I basically pinched the edges of the pink bit and the filling together to kind of mold it more into a macaron-like shape. 
So as you can see, this is how the squishy has turned out. I figured that if you like pinch the bits around here, it kind of looks a little bit more like the shape of a macaron, just like building up that dome bit in the middle. But overall, I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. I can't think of another way to kind of make this shape, but yeah, really happy with it. I think it looks super cute with the face on it and the strawberries. Squishiness wise, it is great. Like, I don't know if you can see it. Like... It's really, really nice to squish. It's really soft and it's nice and chunky as well. I did do a whole load of layers of tape on that, as you can see. Um, because I've used like the expensive sellotape brand rather than the cheaper one, it does build up some colour. But I find when you use like cheaper ones from like Poundland and stuff like that, where you get like the five kind of rolls of sellotape for a pound, they're often more clear and um, they don't build up so much colour. But I think this is just because I used like the golden sellotape, like real brand one. But I mean, I'm not annoyed by it at all. It's just one of those things. But yeah, squishiness wise of this is really, really nice. Really, really happy that I gave it a go. This has been on my list of things to do for Ada. So I'm happy to Sweet Treats Week 4 allow me to be able to finally go ahead and see if I could make this work. And yeah, really happy with how it has turned out. So like I said, if you do end up making this squishy, then be sure to tag me on Instagram. I will repost you on my stories as and when I can. And yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye!